Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Must Watch Tips. Today in this video, we will be learning conditional formatting. So without wasting time, let's start the video. So we have a data set in which we have dates, items, flavors and sales in dollars and sales unit. So to apply conditional formatting, first we need to be at home tab and in home tab you can find style and in style you can see the conditional formatting. You have so many rules in conditional formatting that we have we can highlight the cells greater than less than. So one by one we will apply the rules. So first let's copy this data. To apply a conditional formatting, first we need to select the data on which we want to apply. So now we are going to see the highlight cell rules. In highlight, I want the greater than rule. So greater than 120. So you can see that now we have the cells highlighted in which are greater than 120. If now I will change this 110 to 130, automatically that cell will get selected. And if I will change this 250 to 100, it will get deselected. Now here we will apply less than. So let us apply less than 50. And we can change the color of highlighting. So right now we have only one. If I will change this number to 40, it will automatically get highlighted. Now let's see the between rule. So between I want greater than 100 but less than 140. So we have three highlighted cell. Now if I can change this number so automatically that cell will get selected. The next rule is text that contain. So for this I need to select a text. So I have selected the flavors. Now text that contain instead of orange if I write pineapple. If I want to color it with green. The next format is date occurring. So let me first select the date column. Now for the state occurring, instead of yesterday, I want to select in last seven days. So today is today is 16 May and you can say you can see that we already have last seven days date. duplicate values so let me select this item and select the duplicate value you can see that all values are repeating suppose if i change this biscuit to pen so you can see now pen and biscuits are not repeating so it is not highlighted. Now I have applied too many filters, too many conditional formatting over here. So if I want to clear this all rules, so I will go to clear, clear rules from selected cell if you have selected or I want to clear rules from my entire sheet. So it is automatically cleared now. So we have seen the highlight cell rules. Now we will see the top uh, top 10, bottom 10 rules. So top 10 rules. First we will select the data. Instead of top 10, we hardly have the data of 11. So we will select top 3. And you can see that here it is. Here I will apply the bottom 10 rule.
So you can see that we have the bottom three numbers selected. Now, if I want to have the above average and below average rule. So now you can see that the data I have selected, the average is 118. So I want the above average number. So you can see that above average number will be more than 118. So it is highlighted. And if I want to apply the below average numbers and I will apply it with green color. So you can see that below average numbers are highlighted with green and above average is highlighted with red. So this was about the highlighting cells and top bottom group. Now we will see the data bars. Let me first clear the all rules. So I have randomly selected one cell. Now I will go to clear rules from entire sheet and it is cleared. So we have selected this data and we are going on data bars and we are selecting any of the color. So you can see that the total is the highest one is 200. So it is having the largest data bar, then 190, then 100. So accordingly, data bars are selected. If I will change this 35 to 0, so data bar is gone. If I will change it to 150, so as per 150, data bar will come. Next is color scale. So color scale rule is mostly used in temperature if they want to see the temperature from high to low or if our data is sorted, like sort from low to high or high to low. So let's select our data, color scale and this first. So basically the highest color is from green and it is going from going to light green then yellow and then orange and then red if i will sort this same so you, it will be more clearly visible smallest to largest continue with current section and sort now if i will apply the conditional formatting of color scale now it is clearly visible that okay 35 is the less then gradually the color is getting light and again it is getting dark. So next we will be having icon set. So let's select the data. Click on icon set. And right now I want this up arrow, side arrow and down arrow only. So you can see that the lowest 5 is having down arrow. Then middle 2 is having side arrow. And top 3 is having up arrow. If you want you can create new rules as per your requirement so i want a new rule to be create and my rule should be like format only unique values or duplicate value so right now i want to remove the duplicate value so let me select the data conditional formatting i am setting a new rule a format only unique or duplicate value so if i will format we'll go on fill fill with this blue color okay you can see that right now i have i am formatting it with duplicate so all the duplicates values will be highlighted with this blue color i will press on okay and now it is highlighted now if i want to highlight the unique values so format only unique and duplicate you can select the unique you need to select one color okay and then again okay we will select so you can see that we have only two unique values which are now selected so this was all about the conditional formatting see you in next video thank you